In this video, let's take a look at the power of two algorithm. Here is the problem statement. Given a positive integer n, determine if the number is a power of two or not. An integer is a power of two if there exists an integer x such that n is equal to two power x. For example, e's power of two of one returns true since it is equal to 2 power 0. Similarly, e's power of 2 of 2 also returns true since it is equal to 2 power 1. e's power of 2 of 5, on the other hand, returns false since we can't find an integer x that satisfies the equality. If you have understood the problem, please pause the video and try to solve the problem. All right, let's now solve the problem together. Before we write the code, let's understand how should we go about this in pseudocode. Let's take n is equal to eight as an example. What we are going to do is repeatedly divide eight by two. So four, then two, and then one. At each step, we check if the remainder is zero. If at all the remainder is non-zero, we can return false and safely say it is not a power of 2. If the division continues and the number comes down to 1, we say it is a power of 2. If you have understood this, let's write the code. I'm back here in Replit with a Node.js template and an index.js file. Let's begin by defining the function signature function is power of 2 parentheses curly braces the function will have one parameter n which represents the positive integer for which we need to run the is power of 2 test for example calling the function with n equal to 1 2 and 5 should return true true and false respectively now what do we know from our problem statement? We know that n is a positive integer. So let's begin by adding an if condition. If n is less than 1, return false. Next, we add a while loop. The loop should run as long as n is greater than 1. So the condition is n greater than 1. Within the loop, we check if the remainder when dividing n by 2 is not equal to 0. So if n modulus 2 is not equal to 0, return false. Otherwise, we divide n by 2 and repeat the loop. So n is equal to n divided by 2. After exiting the loop, it can only mean that n is equal to 1 and the remainder has always been 0. In that case, the number is a power of 2 and we return true. That is pretty much the code needed to verify if n is a power of 2. If I run the code, we see the three values corresponding to each function call, true, true, and false. Our code works as expected. And you probably know what's coming. I would like you to take a pen and a paper and trace the function execution for n is equal to eight and n is equal to five. That will give you a more clear understanding of the code we have written. All right. It is time to determine the big O of our E's power of 2 function. Pause for a minute and determine the big O. Here is the cheat sheet which can be used as a guide. Pause now or let's estimate the big O together. Our function contains one while loop. From our cheat sheet, you may think that the big O is linear time complexity. However, this is a while loop and you need to pay attention to how 
n is changed within the loop body. In each iteration, we are reducing the value of n by half. If we take a look at our big O guide, this satisfies the fourth statement. So the time complexity is actually O of log n. The number of instruction executions increases as n grows, but not by the same amount. So big O is equal to O of log n. Now what we have here is a good solution. However, there does exist a solution which is of constant time complexity. It's a one-liner, so we will have to understand with an example. The solution involves use of bitwise operations. Let's call the function is power of 2 bitwise parentheses and curly braces. The function accepts n as a parameter and within the function body we still check if n is less than 1. If it is, we return false. However, to check if n is a power of 2, we return n bitwise and operator n minus 1. We compare this with 0. If this is 0, n is indeed a power of 2. Simple, isn't it? Well, let's understand the magic behind the logic. In binary, a number that is a power of 2 except for 1 ends with 0. Here is a small list of such numbers. 1, 2 in binary, 3 in binary, and 4 in binary. If we try the bitwise AND operator with the previous number, you can see that we always end up with 0. To help you jot your memory of JavaScript operators, bitwise AND is 1 if both numbers are 1 else it is 0. You can see for all powers of 2 and 1, bitwise operation with the previous number will return 0. So if we rerun the code with is power of 2 bitwise, we still see the same output. True, true and false. The solution, however, is more optimal. The time complexity, like I mentioned already, is constant. O of 1. Irrespective of how large n is, we only have to run this line of code once. This is the best solution you can find to the power of 2 algorithm. Alright, with that, we have completed the four math algorithms we set out to solve in this section. Now it's time to learn about a very important concept called recursion. If you are a computer science engineer, this might be more of a recollection. For the others, let's understand what is recursion in the next video.